you dear learners in this session we are going to identify some disease causing organism and the symptoms of the diseases there are large number of organism which affect human health they are either parasitic or pathogenic to the human beings and cause diseases each of these organism can be identified by specific features based on which they are classified they live in a specific part of the human body and have precise food requirement these organism cause various diseases in the human body which are characterized by specific symptoms let us study two such organisms ant amoeba and plasmodium and the diseases caused by them the material required for this session are permanent slide photograph of ant amoeba histolytica permanent slide of human blood infected with plasmodium vivax compound microscope and tissue paper let's take the permanent slide of ant amoeba histolytica and place it under low power of compound microscope let's focus it properly and try to observe the features we can also observe it under high power of microscope so the systemic position of the ant amoeba histolytica includes phylum protozoa class rhizopoda genus ant amoeba species histolytica now we have observed under the slide is that ant amoeba histolytica is an unicellular organism it exists in the form of a feeding stage called trophozoite or in the form of cyst the feeding stage is pathogenic it is irregularly shaped due to the presence of pseudopodia a single nucleus is present eccentrically in the cell the nucleus has a peripheral ring of the granule of nucleoprotein and a central creatinocyte rest of the space in the nucleus looks empty a few food vacuoles seen in the cytoplasm contractile vacuoles are absent the cysts are uni bi or quadrinucleated the quadrinucleated cysts are infective human beings get ant amoeba infection through contaminated food and water the cyst reaches the large intestine and develops into a trophozoite which feeds on the intestinal lining and it results in amoebiasis or amoebic dysentery the symptoms of the diseases are frequent loose and mucus filled watery stools abdominal pain spasms if the parasite enter the blood circulation it can affect other human organs such as liver kidney etc now try to answer these questions which of the life stages of ant amoeba histolytica is pathogenic to human beings which of the life stages of ant amoeba histolytica is infected to human beings now let's take the permanent slide of human blood infected with plasmodium vivax and observe it under the microscope as we did in the case of ant amoeba so the systematic position of this organism involves phylum protozoa class porozoa genus plasmodium and the species is vivax now what we have observed under the slide plasmodium is a unicellular form and exist in the human rbcs in various forms among these the most of the diagnostic stage of the parasite is signet ring stage it appears as a rounded body with a big vacuole and a cytoplasm containing the nucleus accumulated at a one place because of these features the parasite appears as a ring the parasite also occur in trophozoite amoeboid rosid and schizoid form etc coming to the facts according to the world health organization globally 53% of plasmodium vivax burden is in the south asia region with the majority being in the india that is 47% plasmodium causes malaria in human beings the human beings get affected when an infected female anopheles mosquito bites a healthy person the mosquito infective stage sporozoite into peripheral 
blood vessels. Then it enters into the liver cell. Then erythrocytes where it undergoes several rounds of multiplication. The human gets malaria when infective RBC breakdown release toxic granules. The symptoms of diseases are intermittent high fever at alternate days. Fever is accompanied by chills and is followed by profuse sweating. Now try to answer these questions. Where does Plasmodium vivax multiply in the human body? Name the mosquito which transmit malaria. Which is the most specific stage of Plasmodium vivax in the human RBC? Now on the successful completion of this session, we will be able to understand the specific features of two important pathogenic forms and amoeba and plasmodium which cause amoebic dysentery and malaria respectively. The symptoms of these diseases and the modes of their transmission. We will learn about more such disease causing organisms in the next module. Thank you.